designed to look like natural hardwood or stone. In fact, they're often mistaken for the real deal, and most people can't really tell the difference between the two. So we want to break down the differences to help make your decision easier. Let's start with laminate. Lamin is a great choice for those who want to mimic real hard wood floors without sacrificing their bank accounts. It's solid without give and movement, just like traditional hardwood. Laminate is typically comprised of four layers. The backing layer, this is the backbone of your plank. It's also referred to as the stabilizing layer. The core layer, this is made with either high density or medium density fiberboard. Higher quality laminate comes with higher density core. We love that it's more moisture resistant than the medium density options. The print layer, this is what makes laminate look like wood, stone, metal, and more. It can also include rougher, more natural looking scrapes like hardwood floors. Lastly, you have the wear layer. This protects your floor and keeps it looking fantastic after 10 plus years. Now, let's talk about vinyl flooring. I know it's often mistaken for laminate. That's because it's quickly taking over the market with more realistic wood and stone looks than ever before. Vinyl is also less high maintenance than laminate. Vinyl, like laminate, is typically comprised of four layers, just using different materials. The backing layer, the backbone of the plank. The core, this part is solid vinyl. These cores are high density, moisture resistant, and built to last. The printed vinyl layer, this is where your style and design comes from. It can mimic wood, stone, and other natural materials. Lastly, the wear layer. The thicker the wear layer, the more protection you'll have for your floor. It's like your vinyl's personal bodyguard. There's not really much of a price difference between laminate and vinyl. The top-end luxury vinyl you may pay a little more for than a top-end of laminate. That is because the highest quality luxury vinyl often includes a waterproof core and ultra-thick wear layer. For the middle of the road, beautiful and good quality options, they are honestly pretty comparable. It is also important to discuss installation cost with your installer. Most laminate is installed as a floating floor. That means you don't need any glue, tape, etc. You just lay it down right on top of your existing floor, making it super DIY friendly. Vinyl on the other hand ranges and has several installation types including interlocking, glued down, floating and loose lay at varying difficulties. Laminate is awesome for places with little to no moisture. The floor is not nearly as resistant to moisture as vinyl. Vinyl can be installed anywhere, bathrooms, kitchens, basements, etc. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on our website via live chat or give us a call. Together vinyl planking. And this is how it basically works. One side, there is a tongue, and the other side, there's a groove. You basically will install them just like this. They click together and they float on top of whatever subfloor you have. Most of this stuff can be installed right over the top of current vinyl, assuming that it's not too bad, but that's it. It floats right on top of whatever it is called a floating floor. Now, just like anything else, there's advantages and disadvantages of whatever side you go to. Uh, but let me show you which one I decided to go with, and that is the Home Depot brand in this color, all right? Now, there's a couple things. Number one, financing. I didn't have enough money to get the more expensive stuff that was this color. Um, and it, it really fit to what I wanted to have done with the rest of the house I have. So number one, it was the right price for me. It's about $1.99 a square foot. And believe me, there are some really nice ones that were like $2.99 uh, square foot. But that extra dollar doesn't sound like a lot, but when you gotta cover like 1,100 square feet or whatever, it gets really expensive. So number one, the price was right and the color was right. Some other things to consider is, um, it's very easy to work with. You just need a razor blade. Now I got a lot of weird angles in this house and just to make it not seem too easy, just like anything else, when there's a lot of angles, you still have to kind of cut and shave and cut and shave. So for some people, they might want to get the wood laminate because you can just have a saw do all that work. But for me, it's very quiet, very easy, no expensive tools. All you need is a roller to press it down if there's some raised edges and a razor blade and you're pretty much set to go. The next thing is it's waterproof. Now my apartment back in Hawaii, I had some problems with that. Right around like the stove area or the sink area, sometimes I drop some water in there. I wipe it up pretty quick, but after repeated drenching, it starts to bubble up and peel on the edges just like wood them and it would do. Uh, another thing is if you have pets, sometimes they might accidentally knock over the bowl of water and it'll sit there overnight and that is just death, right? Uh, for wood laminate flooring, it'll swell, it'll peel, it'll bubble up and you're gonna have to end up replacing those. So waterproof, uh, definitely uh, a positive for this guy. 
Um, but there are some disadvantages. Let me show you what I mean. Now, all of that seems really fantastic. This is what I wanted to show you guys right here, this area right there. You can see that it's just not even. And I'm telling you right now, I took my time with every one of these pieces, but I just couldn't get it to fit flush. I'm not too sure if it's the Home Depot brand or if it's something that's just inherent of vinyl planks. Um, but no matter what I tried, you know, I rolled it with a roller, I scraped out all the dirt, it just doesn't snap together. So now I got this uneven lip here. This floor was perfectly flat. I grinded everything down uh, so it should not be like this. Now most of it looks like this, right? Most of it's pretty flat. You know, pretty good seams in here. But most of the time when you spend a little bit more money on flooring, you're not going to have this problem. Now, is it specific to Home Depot? Not too sure again. Um, only time is going to tell as to how much it's going to expand and separate. But that's what I wanted to show you guys is this thing right here. Yeah, so in general, the more you spend on your flooring, the better locking system or the closer the lock is going to be and the quieter your floor is going to be. And of course, the type of pattern that you get on the surface of your planks is going to be a lot higher quality. It's going to look a little bit nicer. But again, I couldn't afford the higher stuff right now. I went with these things. And only time is going to tell how good that lockup is going to be on this Home Depot vinyl click together planking. Um, another disadvantage of vinyl is, uh, and again, if you haven't seen that video, uh, I encourage you watching that. I'll put a link again right up here for it. I had to take the time to fill all the holes that when I yanked up the tack strip from the carpet, all along the sides, it left these little ditches. And with vinyl, it's so soft that if you put something over the top of it, it'll flatten. With these guys, it's stiff enough so that if there's a hole under it, you pretty much don't have to fill it. So again, that's a disadvantage of vinyl and an advantage for laminate floor. This is a solid piece of natural wood cut out of a tree trunk, then planed, machined, and sanded into planks of flooring. Engineered wood flooring is a combination of solid wood and plywood glued together. The top layer of engineered wood flooring is a solid wood and it is more than 2 mm thick. If this thickness is less than 2 mm, then it is called as veneered wood flooring and not engineered wood flooring. In case of engineered wood, sometimes the top and bottom layer is solid wood and middle layer is plywood. Laminate wood flooring uses a photographic image of wood on a decor paper adhered to a medium density fiberboard. Scratch resistance Solid wood flooring has a very low resistance to scratches. It can be scratched very easily, so if you have pets in your home, installing solid wood flooring is not recommended. Engineered wood flooring has a relatively high resistance to scratches as compared to solid wood flooring. Laminate wood floors have very high resistance to scratches due to protective layer provided on the top. Pet owners love laminate floors for their scratch resistance. Moisture resistance Solid wood floors have no resistance to moisture. Engineered wood floors offer better resistance to moisture than solid wood floors. Laminate wood floors are moderately water resistant. Life Solid wood flooring has a durability of lifetime or even more. Durability also depends on the type of wood used in the flooring. Engineered wood floors have a life of 30 to 40 years but it can last up to 80 years if proper care is taken. Laminate wood flooring has a durability of around 25 to 30 years. After that, it has to be replaced. Dimensional stability. Solid wood expands in hot climate and contracts in cold climate. Thus, during atmospheric changes, it is subjected to changes in dimensions. The plywood base of engineered wood flooring is dimensionally stable and thus engineered wood flooring works relatively less as compared to solid wood flooring. Laminate wood flooring does not have a natural wood, hence it is not susceptible to atmospheric changes, which makes it dimensionally stable. Thickness Solid wood floors have a general thickness of 18 mm to 22 mm. Engineered wood flooring has a thickness of 8 mm to 22 mm. And laminate wood flooring has a thickness of 6 mm to 15 mm. Installation Solid wood flooring installation is relatively complex as compared to other wood flooring options. Depending upon the installation method, engineered wood flooring requires moderate level of expertise. Laminate wood flooring is very easy to install and does not require a skilled person. It can be easily glued to any existing surface which is properly leveled. Repair Solid wood flooring can be repaired easily by sanding and staining several times during its use. As engineered wood flooring has only top layer of real wood, 
which can be sanded once or twice during its lifetime. After that it has to be replaced. Laminate wood flooring cannot be sanded as it does not have any real wood. If damaged, the planks have to be replaced. Noise production As wood is hollow, solid wood flooring produces more noise on walking as compared to other wood flooring options. Engineered wood flooring produces less noise as compared to solid wood flooring. Laminate wood flooring produces least noise. It is prominently used where soundproof room is desired. Refinishing Solid wood floors can be refinished. Since top layer of engineered wood floors is a solid wood, hence they can also be refinished but up to certain extent. The top layer of laminate wood floors is a resin based photograph, hence they cannot be refinished. Recycling Solid wood floors can be recycled. Engineered wood floors can also be recycled. But laminate wood floors cannot be recycled. Maintenance In case of solid wood flooring, regular cleaning with vacuum cleaner and a damp cloth is sufficient. Occasionally wood cleaner can be used. Similar to solid wood flooring, engineered wood flooring also requires a considerable amount of maintenance. Laminate wood flooring is very easy to maintain as it requires minimal cleaning. No special cleaner is to be used. Resale Value Solid wood flooring is considered as a valuable asset for your house. Its resale value is excellent. Engineered wood flooring also has a high resale value as it contains a layer of solid wood in it. Laminate wood flooring does not have a high resale value as it is a synthetic product and no real wood is used in it. Application Area Solid wood flooring can be installed in any room except in areas where there is a high moisture content such as kitchen, bathroom and basement. It swells in wet conditions so it is not recommended to install in bathrooms, kitchens and basements. Engineered wood flooring can be installed in all rooms including kitchen, basements except highly moisture prone areas such as bathrooms. Laminate wood flooring can be installed in any room of the house except highly moisture prone areas such as bathrooms. Cost Solid wood flooring generally costs 500 to 1000 rupees per square feet. The cost of engineered wood flooring is 200 to 500 rupees per square feet. It is costlier than laminate wood flooring and cheaper than solid wood flooring. Laminate wood flooring costs 80 rupees per square feet to 150 rupees per square feet. Solid wood floors are ideal for die-hard wood lovers. Engineered wood is a greener option and laminate is a cheaper one. Which one will you go with? You can mention your choice in the comment section. Like this video if you learned something and be sure to share it with someone who might benefit from it. Subscribe to Engineering Motive for more such videos and turn on that notification bell so that you won't miss the new video. Finally, thanks for watching.